All right, so now I want to talk about one of the main forms of breast reconstruction, which is reconstruction utilizing an implant-based approach. So in order to do this, uh, we need to talk about two things, which is tissue expansion and breast implants. Your surgeon may use one or a combination of both to reconstruct your breast utilizing just an implant-based approach. This will determine, be determined by the type of mastectomy you have, which we've already covered in a different video. But in short, if your surgeon chooses a skin sparing approach, where you will remove some skin in addition to the nipple, then you will need to start with a tissue expander to expand out the skin and create a new pocket for a breast implant. We'll start with a tissue expander like this, and as you can see, uh, and you can probably tell from the video, the expander is shaped basically like a breast, but it's a little bit more firm. It's a little bit harder than a natural feeling breast. That's because its job is to expand the skin out and make new room for the breast implant, which will look and feel more natural. We do this by filling the expander both in the operating room and in clinic with a small needle that will place through the skin into this port and will fill the expander up with normal saline and it will stretch out your skin and become larger over time until we have enough room to place a breast implant which again is softer, more mobile, and is more natural feeling and more natural appearing, giving you the appearance of having a normal, natural breast. In between the time that we place the expander and to the time when we place the implant is often about two to three months. And we do this because we want the nice, normal, natural capsule that forms around the expander to really form very well, because we'll use that capsule to manipulate the implant if we need to at the secondary surgeries. During that two to three month time period, you will be expanding a little bit, about every, once every two weeks or so, um, you will be expanding um, and recovering from your original mastectomy surgery. Uh, after three months, we'll come back and we'll exchange your expander to an implant, and we may also remove a little bit of additional skin or do other procedures during that time frame. And then after that, we'll come back for a third surgery, typically to do some sort of what we would call just a, a very easy kind of tune-up. You know, I mean, uh, your breasts at that point will look very good, they will look very natural, but you may have just a very thin piece of skin overlying your implant. And therefore, we can do other things uh, to augment that skin flap, like borrow some fat from your abdomen, thighs, or other part of your body, and uh, remove it with liposuction and transfer it to the skin flaps to make your breast appear more natural. Um, the implants may also migrate and we may also need to uh, pull the implants in from the inside out or do other things over time to, uh, uh, to make your breast appear, again, more normal and natural. So you'll have one surgery in, uh, typically to place the expander, a different surgery to remove the expander and place the implant, and then at least one more surgery typically to make your breast look a little bit more natural. When you do have implants, uh, you will likely need at least one more operation throughout the course of your lifetime to remove that implant and put another one in. This is not because the implants malfunction or rupture at a very high rate. Typically, what you're looking at is implant migration, either lower or laterally, which will need to reposition. And at that time, we will uh, replace the implant if it's been in for more than about five or 10 years. Another thing you should note is that the FDA recommends getting an MRI three years after you place the implant and every two years after that to check the integrity of your implant. If you're not comfortable doing MRIs uh, or decide not to for any other reason, then your surgeon will like to see you once a year, regardless of whether or not you pursue MRIs, you should really see your surgeon once a year. And we will examine you, make sure your implant uh, appears intact and make sure that you're not having any other issues or problems with your implants. So in a nutshell, that is expander implant-based reconstruction. We should mention that there are times when we can go uh, direct to implant and skip the expander step. This is typically when your mastectomy surgeon and uh, the patient choose to pursue a nipple sparing mastectomy. Therefore, we're not removing any skin during the mastectomy. At that point, we can place an implant directly into the skin pocket, which is still not a single stage operation. Typically, you will need additional operations after that to augment the skin flap, like fat grafting and moving the implant around like we previously talked about. Another thing to mention in terms of expander and implant-based reconstruction is where we place this implant. 
The traditional way to place an expander implant following a mastectomy is below the muscle, where we will actually lift up the pectoralis major muscle and place the expander below that uh, muscle, and that will give you an extra covering or greater soft tissue covering of the expander and the implant. While this is a really great way to do reconstructions, it left your reconstruction breast, breast sitting very high. Therefore, we began using what's called acellular dermal matrix, or it's you know, uh, nothing more than cadaver skin with all the human elements removed, which is a sheet of collagen, um, to help us create another soft tissue plane in addition to the muscle. So traditionally, we've used this as a sling, covering, uh, releasing the lower part of the muscle and covering the lower part of the expander implant. Or many surgeons now will actually utilize a wrap around the implant um, and place the implant or expander above the muscle. This is not a piece of dermal matrix because they're very expensive, so we don't want to use them here just for demonstration. But you can see how we would utilize a matrix that would be shaped very much like this piece of cloth to wrap the expander or the implant, and then we will utilize that to place it inside of the uh, breast pocket near the chest wall, and this will become your reconstruction above the muscle. This is my preferred way to do reconstruction when appropriate. I probably do about 90% of my reconstructions now above the muscle, but every surgeon will have their own reasons uh, for performing in either above the muscle or below the muscle reconstruction.